Hey guys, Chris Scarhop here, and uh, I need to empty this ashtray. So I've not made a video in a bit since the giveaway video, and I've decided I'm going to announce the winners on that this Friday. Today's currently Monday, I'm going to post this video tonight, so you'll see then. So I'm going to be making this video. It's like uh, what's in my humidor, basic small update on, you know, a few things. So, um... This is new. It's not a humidor, it's just chess, but it stores cigars fine. And yeah, this is felt. I'm gonna rip that out as soon as I can because it holds moisture and you know that's not good. It's a uh, pretty bad shape because um I've not been training it well. Uh there's full size Boveda pack hanging there. That's uh this came with these cigars in the uh, travel. Oh, I forgot to mention new Astro. It uh, holds scars quite well, so I'm pretty happy with it. So uh, this is in my humidor. These, are, of course, these two, and I do have a lot of cigars in here, like a lot. But we're just going over this today. Well, actually, we'll probably go over those boxes. Ignore this whole thing. This is just the most makeshift solution ever. But uh, you're going to see a series of videos on this. That's a Monte Cristo Purito, by the way. Here we got a couple unopened La Paz, a couple unopened Monte Cristo Purito. I just threw these in. I need to take these out of the box. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. What have we got here? Okay, so we've got our Romeo and Juliet, Romeo 2s, the tubed ones, and the Regis Coronas. Uh, whenever I do an update video, I tend to have one of these. Uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> there is uh, quite a line here. They're all very good. This is entirely new. Let me just sit down. <laughs> good score. And, uh, yeah. I tend to just put a quick knife in there to help lift up. Yes, those are my legs, I'm wearing shorts. Uh, these are the Monte Cristo Open Regatta. There's 24 in here. It's uh, double layered. And these are uh, quite beautiful looking scars. They are a decent size, torpedo tip. And um, yeah, I bought these really cheap, but they're like two hundred and forty-five pounds to buy if you're like you buy them from Seagar, so they're you know quite on the expensive side. But I don't know if you buy one, you like it, they might be worth it. They're uh, definitely not cheap, but they're uh, nice. They smell nice. The construction seems to be very good. I'm pretty happy with it overall. I'm I especially like the box. I like how it. I like how it's not oh shit. <laughs> I like how it's not like the other box where um the lid goes over the top. It's actually inset. So this actually does hold quite well. Another thing I ordered was a impulse heater. Just so I could put some cigars, maybe ones that I'm gonna put away that I don't want to put in a humidor or store, whatever. Or ones that are perfect humidity that I wanna preserve. I would uh, just put them in a bag and I would uh Impulse heat it so it stays completely sealed. Vacuum sealing would be ideal, but that's not always an option. Uh, so yeah, that's what's in there. Uh, this is a. Uh, whoops, forgot about that one. Just make sure it doesn't touch any actual cigars. Should be fine there actually. Not got one of those cages yet. I I just literally just stuck this there because I could and uh, lined airtight because the thing on the outside it actually looks really good. Oops. So yeah, uh, that's on my desk. These two are empty boxes. 
Let's move these forward. This one should be there. There and there. Uh, this one, usual. I've not touched anything in there since my last update video. I believe I posted about it. But uh, that's some cigars Raw Bar Jade Smoker sent me. I'm not going to write the review in those yet. I'm um, in this HL Mink container. We've got all these. Let's make sure this doesn't go out. Uh, oops. Uh, this is the Demitas. Um, no, sorry, uh, that's the Davidoff Demitas. This is the Davidoff Exquisitos. And they're pretty tiny, but they're extremely <laughs> expensive, like £3 or something, for basically mini scars. And uh, yeah. They're pretty average, I have to say. Be doing a review on the two I've got left. These are the Oliva minis, I believe. Between two or three pounds, so again, on the expensive side, I've not tried them yet. Uh, David of Demi Tass, they're actually okay, they're a bit like the Monte Cristo Purios, in my opinion, to go through way too fast. And, whoops. And here, the Seagulls Limited Dutch Blend Spree, I believe it is, and then this is the Wild Spree. The ones that look like La Paz cigaros, wild cigaros, and if you compare them side by side, you would swear that they are. Seriously. These are the Guantanamera Prios. These are actually really good, but uh, price wise, um, up for debate. Down here, we've got a two La Aurora Principe Chico's Cherry, of course, some of my favourite cigars. There's lots of mention down here. Yeah, I, I'm a bit retro, I like, I got the PS2, <laughs> I had to go there. Still got five cherries, like three of each of these, the Royal Dutch Elites and the Henry Winterman Slims. Uh, here, I've still not had that Cedros Deluxe number three by Rolling and Juliet. It's uh, one of the weird cigars, the big one is one of uh, cigars' weird ones, one of their uh, own brands or something. The small one is the Dutch Blend Senoritas, I believe. This is the Vasco da Gama Brazil Cigar. I still need to get around to that. That might actually be my next cigar review, if not the Cedros Deluxe. And then the Guantanamera Compe Cigar, which uh, I wanted to get to try out for the price. I'm going to see. And then there's um, another one of Cigars on my own ones. I started to find that Purios uh, tend to have a bit of a problem holding in a lot of the uh, a lot of everything actually. So yeah, I forgot to mention I carry these with me in the day at the moment. Uh, somehow the box got squished. Let's just hope the scars are okay, and they actually seem to be okay. Gotta be careful with that one. So those Velcro things. Okay, the past me wild. I've no idea how many I've got of those, but I really like them. Pack twenty. I picked up a pack of cafe creme just casually, just to do some comparisons and stuff. I think they're okay, so I like them. Royal Dutch Mini Blue, I still got a few of these left I think. I haven't reviewed them yet. Yep. Supreme, I've got one of those left. <laughs> I've been meaning to review it. I did one review, I wasn't happy with it, never go around to it again. Romeo Juliet Minis. Uh, I've been going so slow on these because I really didn't want to finish them for some reason. Sorry if my camera keeps diff drifting off this my fault. And these, the Davidoff Minis. Because uh, of the person who bought me them. I want to keep them, and one time I'll, I've got two left, so I'm keeping these two, share one with them, so 
and also this. I did a review on these. I don't think I'm going to post it. I think I'm probably going to do another one. I wasn't too happy with it. I wasn't really able to speak much at the time because my uh, voice was completely shot. But these are pretty good. The Candlelight Aroma Cherry Minis. So yeah, that's a little bit of an update of what's been going on, what I've got kicking about here. And, um... Yeah, I uh, hope that clues you in on everything. Stay tuned for the giveaway. If you've not entered yet, then make sure you do. It's pretty simple. Next one, I'm going to make sure it's a bit more international than this one. Definitely want to make sure of that. I'm also going to, you know, make sure it's easier because the whole, like, in the Facebook thing, it's not a bad rule. But, um, yeah, I don't want people to have to do that. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.